It's Margarita. Hope you're having an awesome day. I am. However, these five fragrances I'm gonna talk about today, I didn't think they were so awesome, so I am decluttering them from my collection. Number one, Virgil by Sylvain Delacourt. Now, I am new to the house of Sylvain Delacourt. I've smelled two of their fragrances, and <laughs> sadly, both of them <laughs> were catches and releases for me. I, I didn't like either one. The first one was called Vahina. Now, they have a vanilla collection, and there's several ones in that collection, and I got these in a swap with some ladies in my group Femme Fragheads uh, on Facebook. We swap all the time. And I'm a, a vanilla fan. Vanilla is my favorite fragrance note. Vahina, I did not like so much. I can't recall why, but I think it might have been too spicy. Virgil, the same thing. It's too green. I get vanilla in the background, but it's very green up front. So if you like a fragrance that has, it's more green than it is sweet or more green than it is vanilla. It's almost like somebody's poured vanilla extract on top of freshly cut grass and sprinkled some oregano on top of it. That is how it is. It smells like vanilla and, and like some type of Italian seasoning blend. So it may work for some people, but certain types of spices such as green spices do not work well for me. So I'm going to have to let this go. And this is Virgil by Sylvain Delacourt. Number two, Fancy by Jessica Simpson. Everybody kept talking about how good Fancy is. It's not a bad fragrance. It's a great gourmand fragrance. It is really inexpensive. I got this bottle for $12. It's really inexpensive and it is good if, 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 if you do not have a body chemistry where certain notes turn into lunch meat on you. I actually mentioned this, I, I did a video. I'll, I'll link the video um, to this one where I was, uh, I bought a fragrance that actually cured this. It doesn't have a lunch meaty vibe, but yes, this smells like lunch meat on me. <laughs> it is such a beautiful bottle. It is a very high quality fragrance, especially for the price point, but it does not mix well with my chemistry. I am a gourmand lover. This is a great vanilla fragrance and caramel fragrance. So it sold me on that, but it some type of weird funky thing it does that I cannot wear this. So I replaced this with Mika Left's Note Vanille. And so this is actually a less expensive alternative, much less expensive alternative to Note Vanille. Note Vanille, I did it again. <laughs> In the video I did for Note Vanille, I mixed, I transposed the N and the L. So Note Vanille smells expensive and is worth every penny. It is a sleeper because it's not a full vanilla fragrance, but it smells like money. This and Note Vani, if you have one, you don't need the other. They are that similar, but Note Vani doesn't go funky on me like this one does. So if you have a, a chemistry that will not turn certain notes rancid on you, then go for it. But if if you want something that's gonna give you that class and that power, go for the Mika Lef. And this is Fancy by Jessica Simpson. Number three, Flower Bomb by Victor and Rofe. Look at how cute this is. It looks like a little grenade or something. For some reason, the first time I smelled Flower Bomb a few years ago, I didn't like it. Then I smelled Flower Bomb Nectar and I loved it in the store and got it home and I didn't like it anymore, so I took it back. Then I smelled Flower Bomb again about a year ago and I loved it. And I got this not too long ago, this little bitty mini uh, dabber, and I don't like it anymore. <laughs> so I have this love-hate relationship with Flower Bomb and I'm not sure what note it is in there, but it's something really almost salty like that I just don't quite like. It takes over the sweetness and I like this for the sweetness, but I don't like whatever saltiness there is. So my alternative to this that I will be keeping is Bonbon, bon, also by the same designer, Victor and Rofe. Bonbon, bon, or Bonbon bon, if you pronounce it in the French way, is just wonderful and it's sweet. It maintains the sweetness and there's none of the saltiness. If you have Flower Bomb and Bonbon, bon, you may not need, uh, if you have one or the other, you may not need both. But if you specifically want a sweeter version, go with Bonbon. Bon. If you don't like overly sweet fragrances, then go with Flower Bomb. Me, I like sweet fragrances, so Flower Bomb's gotta go bye-bye. <laughs> Number four, and before I tell you what this is, you all, you guys, listen. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. It's all about body chemistry and preference. Um, these are just my opinions. 
People get so sensitive when I uh, mention things about fragrances because that they love that I don't. It's not personal. It is just a product. It is just my experience with the product. Get over it. That said, Baccarat Rouge 540, y'all. <laughs> it does not do it for me. I think this is probably one of the most overhyped fragrances, the most duped fragrances. Everybody has their version of it. And it's kind of boring to me. It's something in here. Actually, it's almost stomach turning. Um, I have this. I had a bottle. I sold it and decanted it a little bit for myself. And honestly, I can't even bring myself to wear this remaining portion. I have it stored, actually. I keep this stored because I can't bring it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to probably visit it in another year and see if I like it again. But right now, it just doesn't do it for me. What I do love, oh my goodness, Tribeca. Bond number nine did it better. When they say who wore it better, Bond number nine did a better version with their Tribeca. That smells better than both the original Baccarat Rouge 540 as well as the extrait version, in my opinion and on me. Everybody's nose is different. Everyone has preferences. So I always have to say that. I have to put my little disclaimer statement on me and in my opinion, which everyone is entitled to their opinion. <laughs> so Baccarat Rouge 540, I will not be repurchasing. I may gift or trade this remaining portion because I can't bring myself to wear it. I don't like how it smells on me anymore. However, Tribeca, that's my friend. <laughs> and number five, Velvet Tonka by BDK. This is a beautiful bottle. Oh goodness, it looks so elegant. I love gold. Gold is one of my favorite colors. Oh my goodness, it goes with everything. The juice is beautiful. The presentation is really beautiful in this bottle. The scent, however, not for me. It smells like a new toy. Um, if you ever got a plastic toy as a child, like think of a new Barbie doll kind of a smell. How it smells in the box when you first take it out the plastic. That is the vibe I get from this. Um, I'm really learning that I don't care for Tonka, I guess. I tried Tonka Imperial by Gerlain. Didn't like that. I tried the um, Fave Delicious by Dior. I have that stored because I don't quite like that. And now Velvet Tonka. Nope. Three for three. <laughs> don't like any of them. And I think what it is, it's, it's a plasticky scent to me. It smells really synthetic. And these are all high quality fragrances. But on me, it goes too powdery. I cannot stand powdery fragrances. I like creamier fragrances. Powdery some, sometimes, it, it turns my stomach for some reason. And that Tonka, it just goes too powdery. Fave Delicious and Fave is actually, um, how you say Tonka in French. So it's, it's supposed to be delicious Tonka. And it is a beautiful fragrance for what it is. It's a great fragrance. It's just not for me. And neither is this one. So, you know, I probably need to stick with notes that don't have Tonka as the dominant. And it can be like a, a background player. But, you know, it just seems like anything that's more vanilla prominent is good. But this Tonka, it overpowers everything else in the fragrance. So, that said, if you are looking for a straightforward Tonka, by all means, get this. It's just not for me. So those are five fragrances that I am decluttering. If you are interested in these, let me know in the comments. We can probably work out a swap or a sale. I'd be happy to because I am not wearing these <laughs> and I would hate for them to go to waste. So if you like these or are interested in them, just let me know and we can figure something out. I am Margarita and you make sure that you like, comment and subscribe to our channel. And also have an awesome day. Bye.